nice. Aid's got a new bag. Oh, bad, can I say? You've ruined it. What do you think the Go Naked smells like? And these are the soft tacos. They look so delicious. And then they flip up. That's really cute, isn't it? Right, that's my raspberry cake. Morning. I'm starting this weekend vlog off with making some banana pancakes, but some really, really healthy ones. I've got blueberries that need to using up. I'm gonna mash a banana, mix it in with an egg and fry because we're off for a long walk this morning. Mixing in mashed banana and egg. This is one of each. One banana and one egg. And I'm gonna fry them like pancakes. And it goes more like banana scramble, to be honest, than omelette. But trust me, it's delicious. And I've just done the one banana and one egg between two of us. There we go. And I've made coffee too. It's Aid's little morning surprise. Good morning. I'm a little bit more presentable now. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. This is the official welcome. Um, we're about to head out for a walk. It's half, about, I was going to say half nine. It's about quarter past nine. Um, that breakfast was so delicious. If you like banana, try it. It's more of a, like a banana scramble, but that was actually really filling. Blob of Nutella, amazing. Really quick, healthy, apart from the Nutella breakfast. And it's a great way to use up all your fruits and things as well. I've done strawberries on the side, raspberries, all that kind of thing. Really, really good. Hope you enjoy this weekend's vlog. Usual kind of mix, little bit of everything. And, um, Hope you enjoy spending the weekend with us. one of my favorite walks it was so nice loads of those areas we went on to the usual common area where we go and then we went off track and we tried to go down that way um back in the winter months and we couldn't we I'd, I'd videoed it actually we got so far but it was so boggy and so wet we gave up so today we went for it and we went far around and we walked miles around and then we came back to where we usually go but then we went off track there as well and it was so lovely really nice aid's got a new bag oh bad can i say you've ruined it you need to step back babes sorry do you like my new t-shirt by the way i've got a new disney t-shirt yeah i like this one it's There's really bits on it you know, from the walk yeah um aids show them your new bag no, I've done a minute. It. No, no, it's not. You've got pizza on your face. Oh. <laughs> We've just had last, last night's leftover pizza. I've got posts to open up with you. And Aid has a new bag. He snuck out a new bag. He bought a new bag that I didn't even know about. If you've been watching my channel, you might know Aid has a thing for bags. We're roles reversed in many ways. Aid's more the emotional one. He gets attached to things. He likes a bag. I didn't even notice he had a bag when we went out. I need to push this back a little bit, don't I? Yeah, you might need to film me. Right, so this is a, is this like a park bag? Well, I've got my park bag, which is what I have my camera in. This is more for just like, if we just pop in somewhere. Pop in? Into like a, park. a park? or something okay. like that. Now- As in a Disney park? Yeah, I'm a glasses wearer. So I've always, I wear a lens in the park. When I'm in Florida, I'll always have my lens in. But I do take my glasses with me. I love sunglasses. So can't put them in my pockets. I'll go have a bag. So this, a little bit small. 
but it is perfect, I think. It's um, Osprey, those who've watched our videos will know I'm a fan of Osprey, yeah? I do like their bags. I've it was quite nice going on a walk right now, and I tried it on, it's really comfy. Um, the only thing is, and I did read it on the reviews before, a lot of the Osprey bags, a lot of bags have a lot of ventilation system okay. in them where they're mesh. This one doesn't. Does so it make you it sweaty, hot, do you think? It can make it sweaty. But okay. as, as long as you move around, you're fine. But anyway, there's a little pocket in the front. I mean, you can see how big I am. So see this is, it's kind of not a big bag, I think it's six litres. But a bit of the front here, that's a bit elasticated. So if you wanted to, you could put an umbrella in there, or if you've got a poncho, or anything. Inside here, I've got a couple of bits in there. I've got my drinks bottle. Now this, bearing in mind, is a... Is it 16? Uh, I think it's a 16 ounce. I think mm. it's like 600 mil, or just under 600 mil. Okay. That's not small, that's no. a... A decent a size. Bonte. That's a big, big Starbucks kind of thing there. There's that. I've got my sunglasses case in there. Which is that chunky. Was in there. So if you look at that, I've got those in there. You've there's, got little there's a bit more room. In there I'm just going well. to oh, get to that. But there's still room in there. So if you want to take a light cardigan or jump, you probably could do. But there's. Do you have a cardigan? No. I was talking about you. I'll take oh. yours. I'll oh, carry yours for you. you. That's kind. Little pocket and put your keys on. Yeah. There, that's handy for parks as well to Sit actually there. secure your tablets. Got headache tablets yeah, headache and that tablet. kind of thing need be. But to, I was going to say to secure your keys when you're in a park. I always do that because if yeah. for some reason you haven't done the zip quite up, you know that you've got or anything else. We I have my camera cards oh, in a little okay. pouch clipped to my bag. You probably never know these things, no. do you? My camera cards are always clipped in some of this. So again, okay. if it's open, we don't ever lose them. Yeah, that's handy. Um, there's a little pouch. There's like tablet size. You'd easily get like a small okay. iPad in there or yeah. something. Or again, you can put some of this in the back. And do you know what? It was, I think this was, I got it, it was it was £28, Yeah. but it's gone down to £23.99 now. Do you want me to link it up below? I just in case. Do, yeah. And I must admit, I tried it on, it's so comfy. Can I try it back on again, you please? You can do. Now, one thing I'll say, the strap is long enough, so for me, if I just turn round, yeah. now this is when the strap is short, it's kind of up here. For me, it looks, it does look small, but obviously down here, it still yeah. feels comfortable, or even just over my shoulder. But it's big enough, I sound really geeky, don't I? I do love my bags. Mm -hmm. And now I've got four pieces of post to open with you. So let's see what has come today. What delights do we have? We have got oh some Mickey gems. I've bought some gems ready for our Disney journal class. These are very, very cute. Little little sparkly mickey gems i'm collecting things now so i can put the kits together for the new disney class that i've been talking about because we're very excited about that hands up if you are wanting to take the disney class what's in here oh these are die cuts ready for the september kit so i won't show you those these feel like cello bags are they are these are going to be for the disney kit as well i've got some gold spot cello bags i thought these would be really nice to make pockets in our disney journals i like those a lot i do love it when i have a new kit planned like now and i've got bits and pieces arriving i get very very excited um and here oh i've just broke open the bag We've got Disney beads. I like these. You see, they're actual. I just dropped my camera. It seems to be fine. They're actual Mickey shaped, these beads. They are so cute. And they're now all over my floor. Um, so we've got some things arrived for the new Disney class. I am very excited about this. It's all coming together nicely now. So it won't just be the paper packs. There'll be lots of other things in there as well. Hi, just to add on from that little video before, I've just checked and it's the Osprey Daylight Sling Unisex Lifestyle Pack. So it's the Daylight Sling. Nicky beads. Yeah, cool. Right. I'll show you something. What are we doing now? Am I gonna, should we work in the lounge yeah. and watch a movie? Definitely. I like these bags. What am I watching? The colour. Oh. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I'm not buying one. I don't need oh. one. I don't need one. And I don't want a matching bag with you either. 
I've just remembered I've got a big delivery that came yesterday that I still haven't opened so I'm going to do that now as well and this is going to be a delivery of Disney goodies and I'm going to share them with you I do love unpacking orders again as when I unpacked previous orders I have got bits and pieces that are from upcoming kits for add-ons so I won't be sharing those with you at the moment but what I can share um, I mentioned this before I've got the big packs of the Disney stuff things like this um, the Disney packs with the Disney papers they are going to be the main part of the kit for the new class that's coming up I haven't listed it yet so don't panic I will share details and let you know when signups are going to be ready I want to actually create the class first before I start promoting it but because I've only got spaces for 24 that was the most amount of packs I could buy what I'm going to be doing I've got papers I've got die cuts and I've got loads of other bits and pieces as well that you will also be able to buy. If you haven't been able to be one of the 24, because I know loads of you are interested, you will be able to go onto my website and purchase papers, die cuts, stickers, things like that. I'm also going to be putting together a pack of all the other bits and pieces. So there'll be like the gems that you've just seen, the beads there'll be little envelopes I've got loads of bits and pieces coming to which will be like a big part of the um, kit the class you will be able to buy those as well so there are ways of doing the class and extended numbers even if you can't actually get one of the main parks parts let me know if you like that idea I didn't want to just close it off to 24 of you if loads of you want to do it because then you miss out and I didn't have enough spaces in my last class and so I wanted to make it available to as many of you as possible. So these will be going on my website as well. We've also got little tags and frames as well. These will all be in the Disney section on my website. Did you know I have a Disney section on my website? Lots of lovely Disney bits. Got stamps for the add-ons coming up. And the nice thing is with regards to like the papers, the tags, the die cuts, I can get loads and loads of those as well. So if I end up selling out, I can get hold of more. I've also ordered these chipboard stickers. I really, really love these. These will be really good for the mini books. And washi tape packs. Disney washi tape. Isn't that cute? We've got, I think it says celebrate the magic. There's another one with believe it's black. It's got main street. So cute and the spots the little polka dots so we've got those as well I'm gonna cross it all off and make sure that nothing's been missed off like it was last time everything's in there I can now update the quantities on my website so that everything is in stock I'm making up some quinoa balls for lunch I just feel looking at these if Satuli Canteen in Animal Kingdom were to make salads this is what they would look like don't they look lovely and it's all just used up quinoa and salmon and roasted veg from leftovers recently. I've got the cauliflower, Aid's got the onions and courgettes. I've just picked out our favorites and I'm just going to make a dip to go in the middle. All I'm using is some natural yogurt and mint sauce and the dip's gonna go in the center of the salads. And then just add the mint sauce to flavoring. I will add some white wine vinegar as well just so it's a bit more salad dressing-y. We like it very minty, quite strong just mix it to how you really like it i can eat mint sauce out of the jar i love it so much i'm not actually adding any vinegar i've just added extra mint sauce to the yogurt there we go doesn't that look delicious i've added some salt and i will actually put a little bit of white wine and vinegar over the lettuce and the cucumber right we're going to watch the conjuring this afternoon six o'clock now Conjuring was really good, really enjoyed that. My type of movie, I like it like that. And it's based on true story, true events anyway. So that was cool, I had an afternoon nap. And whilst I had an afternoon nap, I've taken in two deliverers from Amazon. I can't think, I know I ordered two method soaps. I don't know what the other item is. But right, here's my two soaps. I'm gonna have so much soap. I have no idea what's in the other box. 
I'm expecting a super drug order. It's taken forever. Method. This should be a go naked. I didn't order a go naked. So then all that one's all about. I ordered the ginger. I'd be disappointed if that if I've ordered that instead of ginger. And this is the hibiscus berry. I've got a naked one. One was prior and one wasn't. Oh, that's really nice. Which one's that? Hibiscus berry. Oh, that's lovely. Is that it? <laughs> I've got to clean my glasses now. <laughs> I kind of guessed it. <laughs> it was so funny. It smells nice. I'm sorry I got your glasses. I'm getting my cloth now. Oh, sorry. It's smeared. No, it's fine. It smells lovely then. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. What do you think the go naked smells like? Depends if it's been a warm day. <laughs> right, let's see what's in this other box. We don't know what's in this one. I haven't ordered this. Okay. It's something I haven't ordered. Have you ordered this? No. Nope. There's a message in there. Oh, it's from Paula. Oh, that's so nice. Let's have a look at that. I didn't know you could do get um, yeah, messages. I never you knew that. On. Quite often I order yeah. presents for friends, but they don't know who <laughs> it's from. Yeah, because you can put it for my brother before. Pictopia, the ultimate picture trava, tra trivia. trivia family game. I wanted to say travel. Oh, stuff on the back. Oh, that's Which so one of these cool. movies features Big Ben in a pivotal scene? Be Peter Pan. Yeah, it will be Peter Pan, I reckon. Well, that's cool. That is such a nice surprise. Thank you, Paula. I don't Aww. think Paula watches my videos. Oh, oh, age is seven plus. We'll be all right then, yeah. won't we? That's so nice. I'm going to walk the dog. Okay, I'm going to make a cake. That's what I'm doing next. And then I'm making soft chicken tacos. Doing a vegan version and a normal version. Um, what a lovely box to unwrap. What a lovely surprise. I'm going to go and check to see what's happened to that ginger and hoping, hoping I didn't order the naked instead. Should we see what naked smells like? Nothing. Oh, let's see what it says on the bottom. Stop, dance, recycle. And this one is stop, dance, recycle. It was supposed to be the ginger one. I just checked my order. They've both been marked as being delivered. Ginger's now out of stock. Definitely ginger on my order. And I've got one with no fragrance. The whole reason I ordered them was because I like the fragrances. I'm gutted. So I need to sort that out. Right, for the chicken tacos, I've got chicken, some balsamic dressing, I've got my favourite chip seasoning and some blackened Cajun. I'm just coating it and I'm going to grill that and then shred it. I've combined all the ingredients for the cake, the ingredients, and I'm going to whiz that down. I'll link up the cake recipe below. Making this cake a vegan version, so I've taken out the eggs two eggs and instead I'm replacing 100 grams of this vanilla Alpro. So this is an almond cake mixture. I've been on the phone to my mum so I'm hoping I've remembered all the ingredients but it tastes okay. It's making a mess. It's licking the whisk and I've got to put half in my tin, my pre-greased tin. I'm not using fresh raspberries, I'm going to use a tin of raspberry. Put those and then the rest of the cake mixture. I think this might be a cake fail. Um, the raspberries, the tin raspberries, I think are going to be a bit soggy. There's still a little bit of the juice left. I didn't have enough cake mixture. Um, there's barely any on the bottom. So I'm not quite sure how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna chuck a load of flaked almonds on the top and hope for the best. All right, let's see if we can get away with this. I've ended up making such a mess. This was left when I lifted up the tin. Got raspberry everywhere. It's food shopping day tomorrow, so it's a really good chance to use things up. So for my tacos and Holly's tacos, I'm doing vegan and we're having roasted cauliflower with broccoli using all the last bits of the veggies up. And I've thrown in some red onion and I'm going to do the same seasoning with salt and pepper on this and a drizzle of oil. And that's ready for the oven. So I'm making homemade salsa to go with the tacos. I've finely chopped onions tomatoes and coriander and here's a little tip I've ran out of lime juice 
we're only doing one main shot a week so we're not going out to get any so as a backup I like to keep this fake lime juice in the cupboard it's just always handy to have it just means you don't have to nip out if you've run out of fresh lime juice lime juice has gone in a little bit of salt has gone in and my secret ingredient a sprinkling of sugar just do it to taste keep tasting it until you're happy with the flavor if you need more lime juice if you need more sugar or more salt just add I'm just making a vegan coleslaw I've got some finely sliced white cabbage carrot I'm going to add some vegan mayo a bit of vinegar and maybe some cayenne pepper something like that a bit of sugar see how it goes mayo a little bit of white wine vinegar I've decided to make it cocktail like prawn cocktail sauce so I've added some ketchup as well this is our what do I call this my taco bar so we've got the roasted cauliflower onions and broccoli we've got the chicken that I've shredded I've got natural yogurt salsa Holly's made some vegan hot sauce mayo cheese lettuce and rocket and we've got homemade coleslaw and little mini wholemeal wraps and these are the soft tacos they look so delicious right that's my raspberry cake I've just popped icing sugar on the top it looks very very nice and smells amazing it's still warm we're gonna have this with a cup of tea whilst watching Walking Dead tacos by the way are such a fun way especially if you've got people with different likes and dislikes really good having a bar we've got Louis who just loves meat we've got Holly that's vegan it's just a way to please everybody you can have loads of different toppings everyone helps themselves it's easy a really good way to keep everyone happy and it's really really yummy there you go you can see the raspberry layer through the middle there it looks so good good morning welcome to Sunday it's Sunday the 24th of May it's after 11 we've had coffee we've watched Adam the Woo I've been working um, Aid's taken Louie to work at Waitrose. Holly's already there. She had, has an early start on a Sunday. And I'm sat finishing, just proof watching the video, the vlog to go up tonight. Just working on the thumbnail. Got a list of stuff to do today. I want to get a chilli in the crock pot. We're doing dirty loaded fries for dinner tonight. That's going to be yummy. Aid's going to be bringing in the weekly shop soon. i um, done a menu for the week we've got it's going to be lovely weather this week we've got but Aid's going to do a barbecue tomorrow just burgers I've, i'm going to ask holly to make a risotto on tuesday stuffed mushrooms bubble and squeak arancini balls on wednesday egg roll in a bowl which includes no eggs and no rolls on thursday um, we're going to do a disney day to film on friday so i'll keep that one a surprise fajitas saturday and we're gonna do i think we've got some lamb in the freezer that needs using up so we're gonna do that with minted couscous and veggies so that's the menu for the week like i always say we often change things though but that's the schedule and i'm determined today to get my kitchen cleaned you know i keep talking about cleaning that area i think today could be the day but i want to get a chili in the crock pot for loaded fries for tonight and i really need to deep clean the bathrooms I'm so frustrated. Something that should have just taken me 20 minutes, half an hour, it's taken me forever. Lost everything on the Mac, everything's disappeared, don't know where anything is. And my PC is working really, 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 really slow. I'm really fed up. I can't get any further with work. I've just come to an absolute standstill, so I've stressed. <laughs> I'm going to stop stressing and do some other jobs in here. I've got loads of boxes. Um, from deliveries that I can fold up they can go in the recycling bin and then I'm gonna go and get the chili on let's start this chili I'm using a pack of regular minced beef um, it was reduced in Waitrose to 99p it was originally four pounds 30 on the packet I think it said or was it four ten? I can't remember um, but we get 25% off as well as the kids work there so it would have been 75p for us that's not bad um I know it's not a healthy meal that I'm doing loaded fries there's going to be cheese but I'm going to try and make it slightly healthy kind of um, I'm gonna 
just cook off the beef mince first no oil just try and get rid of as much oil in the beef as possible so i'm cooking it off in a pan and then actually let's get the kettle off on i'm then going to drain it and put some boiling water through it sorry that sun's really shining through um just to try and drain off as much fat as possible i'm going to be using 100 percent fat free yogurt instead of sour cream so just trying to make a few little changes but i am really looking forward to my loaded fries i can't decide whether to have skinny fries for the rest of the family or proper potatoes for myself and um, i love the american home fries like the potatoes i really like those but it's a fat for just for me everybody else wants fries so i might just go with everybody else it will make my life a little bit easier i love american breakfast potatoes whether they're in chunks whether they're grated and hash browns i just love american breakfast potatoes i also wanted to say thank you for all the box set suggestions we've had a look at a few of those we did happen to watch one we found one on I, uh, bbc iplayer last week um it's called 13 it's 2016 so it's not a new one but it's with jodie coma so if you love killing eve i'm sure you'll love jodie coma too we love her she's so cute um even when she's a baddie she's cute but it was a really really good box set five se uh, five episodes and she's basically abducted at the age of 13. i won't tell you anymore it's really really good we whizzed through it over three sittings i recommended it to my dad in the states he did it in one night with his wife they just really really loved it right you can see all that oil in there so let's drain that off for holly's dirty fries she's got this pulled pork veggie smoked barbecue i think it's is it jackfruit i'm not sure actually what it is or is it actually no it's a protein it's one of the protein ones we picked a whole load of these up in waitrose one night reduced from 239 down to 10p you can see why when i shop my um, basket is very reasonably priced. I do love a bargain. Holly's not fussed with cheese. Um, it's been so easy for her to go vegan because she didn't really like dairy anyway. Even when we had Papa John's the other night and she had a vegan pizza, she still took the vegan cheese off anyway because it was too cheesy. So um, she's not fussed with all the, like, the sour cream. She's not fussed with the cheese and all that. But I think she's really looking forward to the ve vegan pulled pork with extra barbecue sauce on her fries tonight. I would be very interested to know actually how many of you are vegan or veggie or a bit like us, you do a little bit of everything. Um, I do so many vegan alternatives at home now. Um, I used to be veggie years ago. So, and even when Aid and I got together, I didn't really eat meat. Um, although I wasn't veggie, I bought my kids up not really eating meat. They would have corn nuggets instead of chicken nuggets. And it's only since being with Aid that we've had fizzy drinks, we've had a treats cupboard, we've eaten rubbish, and the red meat has slowly sort of crept in over the years, um, which I'm trying to reduce again he's fine he's more than happy when i do the veggie and vegan alternatives um he doesn't complain at all um he's more than happy actually but every now and then he does fancy some meat so he doesn't even usually go for chili but he was the one that picked up the mince and has asked me to make chili tonight um, which i'm really excited about because chili is my absolute favorite i would go for a veggie chili that would be my preferred but i'm more than happy to do the beef chili for him so these are my ingredients for the chili i really like these chili beans and chili sauce we've got some chopped tomatoes i'm using up a red onion i'm using up a pepper i will always use up whatever i've got in my fridge any veggies anything like that a couple of large cloves of garlic and then these are always my go-to spices i've got ground coriander ground turmeric ground cumin some extra garlic there salt and pepper brown sauce and ketchup as well thrown in the spices i think i've done about half a teaspoon of each um but you can always add more if you want it i forgot to say by the way the cake is amazing it actually when you look at it it actually looks a bit like a bakewell tart doesn't it it's so gooey inside really really lovely nice and crunchy on the top with the almonds really recommend that cake and it's so easy to turn vegan. I was reading up recently about why we actually use eggs 
in different things and sometimes it's to add moisture to the cake and I've done this twice now taken out the eggs and added vegan Alpro instead the Holly likes the um, vanilla one which is brilliant for baking so I took out the eggs I put in a hundred grams of yogurt the vegan yogurt and it worked fine I always use the vegan margarine we tend to use that anyway the dairy-free marge and it's absolutely fine second time I've done it on a cake no problem at all just throwing everything in the crock pot I've emptied the beans but I've also filled it up with water then and added in that as well there was a few beans left in the bottom I have the last bit of the ketchup I put water in the bottom shaking it up and that's going to go in there as well with a squirt of brown sauce too everything's gone in salt and pepper I'm going to give it a good mix and then stick it on the crock pot for I don't know maybe four hours or so and let it all combine. Aid's home with the shopping. We're going to see what he's got. Just having a little look at Aid's shopping. We've got some bratwurst. I've got fries as well. I've put fries on. ready for tonight. These look nice. These are going to be for stuffed mushrooms this week. Is that a treat for Louis? Well, that's me and Louis. Oh, you and Louis. No, Baby what? bells. That's our treat. Rosties. Yeah, the kids love these They're rosties. Really nice, they are really nice. Oh, sorry, so I'll just hang up there. So I yeah, can... they really like those. These are all things that weren't on the list, but they're quite handy. Um, crisps, the kids are still having pet lunches in the they're day. Well. Oh, were they on offer? Yeah. Even better. Aid was able to pick up some more strong flour, which is good because I'm just baking. Some garlic. Garlic. Some I'm just baking some more away. sourdough. Now look at this piece Sweet of broccoli. Sweet potatoes. That's a good piece of broccoli. Thank you. You will enjoy. Corn, sweet corn, lettuce. garlic. Getting through a lot of lettuce at the moment, aren't we? I guess it's salad Onions. season. Two onions. The waitress bags are biodegradable, by the way. And cauliflower. And a collie. And I think that's it. I did buy some cereals. So I'm running along my country nut and they're on offer. Okay. And that's it. Some Pepsi. Okay. And that's our weekly shop this week. No meat this week because we got all the meat last week. And um, it's going to be a bit of a veggie week, I think. My video's finally uploading and I've made lunch. I've got some tiger bread Holly bought home yesterday. A little fruit pot, salsa from last night, natural yogurt, and the last bit of roasted veg and cheese. Also left from last night. I forgot to show you Aid's sandwich. Aid's got a fried egg sandwich. Done in the microwave. Done in the microwave. On white, I've put some blueberries on the side. So tell me today, are you team Aid or team Lisa? Team Aid. Team Lisa. <laughs> I'm finally going to tackle this kitchen. I have been talking about it for so long. Aid's upstairs. He's cleaning our bedroom windows and the blinds. They're really thick with dust. Cleaning the windowsill. And I'm going to clean this. It's going to be in a separate video. Holly's just put the shower on. That was great timing. <laughs> I can hear the shower pump. I'm going to tackle this kitchen. It's going to be in a separate video. I'll link it up below because it would have gone up by now. I might just have to wait there for Polly to finish her shower first. I did so well with the kitchen. Cleaned. Aid helped me as well. We cleaned all the back door. We've done the cupboards. I've got two boxes to donate. Um, not the top one actually. That's Louis. Um, I need to give that to him. And we've got some alcohol to drink through. So I need to do that as well. Chips are in the oven. I need to give my dad a WhatsApp call. There's the chili, it smells amazing. That's Holly's veggie pulled pork or pulled veggie, I should call it. I made gravy for Louis, he just wanted gravy and chips. And then I put on the chili, cheese, natural yogurt, and green onions. This looks amazing. That's two family dinners in a row with clean plates. Everybody liked it. Everybody ate it. It's unheard of. The chilli was so good. I did need to thicken it up at the end. I don't think I needed to add all the water to the cans actually. Um, I think usually I add sweet potatoes and things like that which maybe absorb it more. Um, so instead I added some beef gravy granules to thicken it up. I added some sweet chilli sauce at the end and it was perfect. Really nice and thick, a bit sweet, nice tang, really really good just realized I've got all sticky flour I've just been making sourdough got my um, starter and my flour and my water all mixed ready to bake in the morning so we're gonna have fresh bread for breakfast which will be lovely um, we're gonna go and walk poppy in a moment Aid's watering the garden I've cleaned the kitchen we're a good team do you have a good teamwork in your family 
you all have your little jobs i know we do aid cleaned all the bedroom window and the windowsill the blinds upstairs while i did the kitchen so that feels nice as well um i like it when i get jobs done i really do i really feel like i've achieved today and that's such a nice feeling and now i deserve a couple of hours laying on or we deserve a couple of hours laying on this sofa and that's what we're going to do hope you've had a nice weekend i do love a bank holiday weekend um no idea what we're doing tomorrow and i quite like that feeling welcome to bank holiday monday it's a work day here um sorry i just walked past my window um i'm in my studio i'm actually on the hold to virgin at the moment i've been on the hold for half an hour um i'll go into a bit more about that in a moment i'm i'm working on kits i baked two loaves of bread first thing i have been working up since 6 30. Um, so I'm just listening to my phone. Um, I'm working on kits. I'm working on the zine. I'm trying to change our September trip. And I'm on hold at the moment. I'm The other two trips I changed via text. But this one's a bit more complex. And considering I last text with them on Tuesday and I still haven't had a response. I need to um, speak to somebody really. I can't really wait a week <laughs> before... Um, speaking to somebody but i'm going to show you what i'm in the middle of making please excuse the music i'm on hold at the moment so i'm making this is all using the june kit and I'm, it's in my pandemic journal my 2020 story journal and basically you get these cards in the let me show you i've made a pack of journal cards for the kits and they're really really cute but I've teamed up these three together using the washi tape from the kit and I've made a flip page so I'm going to do my journaling there and then I'm going to stick there and I've got journaling space there as well so that's three of the cards I've got this photo in here I've got tape on both sides and then I've slotted in this tag as well so that's what I'm doing right now this is one of the papers for the kit this month. I painted that out in the garden in the week and today I filled it in with pink. As you can see, it's still a bit wet, so I'm just waiting for that to dry. One hour, 45 minutes later, I'm off the phone. <laughs> and no further forward. Um, the miles, flying clubs down, so couldn't really help me out. And our return flight's not released yet. So I'm making lunch. I'm doing us natural yogurt, blueberries, banana, and a drizzle of honey. It's putting washing on the line he's always in charge of washing he does most of the washing in the house and this is what's left of my sourdough today so this is what i made today i really like how this goes i've used the three little cards these little cards from the kit um there's a little pack of them and then i've just attached them with the tape and then they flip up that's really cute isn't it I'm really pleased with that and then the tag here I cut these from the embellishment postcard and you can pull the tag out like that so it's like an upside down tag I attached ribbon from the kit and then I've journaled on the back as well also using bits and pieces from the kit and then I am making a mini book again using bits from the new June kit I'm really pleased with that I like that a lot and I'm really really pleased with that kit paper I think this is my favorite one I've possibly ever done so I've just photographed it and I'm getting it ready now so I can order my papers for the month let me know what you think of this one as well so I want to turn this artwork into a postcard I painted this quite some time ago for the kit and I wanted to add a little quote which I've done like that. I really love that. Each day is a fresh start. Really like that. Um, I find that quite inspirational actually. That's what it will look like as a postcard. I thought that's quite fun for you to see like the behind the scenes look of the postcards being made. Aid's made dinner whilst I've been working. It's now half past six. I've only just finished work. He's heated up my chilli from yesterday and he's got stuff on the barbie for everyone else. And I have got an exact replica of last night's meal, chili cheese fries with yogurt, cheese and spring onions. And everyone else is at the table with their barbies. You got your burger. 
jalapenos as well. You got jalapenos? Mm -hmm. Holly's got some vegan sausage and Louie's got a burger. Aid's kindly working on the letter to go in the front of the next kit. And then I can get them all sent off to the printers. And I'm working on the next page of my journal. I've started that one today. That was the one I created earlier. That's going to be next week's prompt. And then I'm also working on this one. Um, I just realised I've got tape on here. I've got some vellum, which is going to be in the June kit. And I'm going to stick that inside to create another page. I love working with vellum. So that can be folded over. I'm going to put that on there and then that could be folded up like that there that folds in i quite like that and obviously i'll decorate the back page then as well on this one i thought it'd be really fun to document some of the things that the kids have said during lockdown so using the kit i've created a he said and she shared i can't say that she said um tag i've used the packaging the cello bag as well and they can just pop inside and then if I wanted to add some more I can as well and then I can journal on the back of the tags. I could also add photos actually inside if I wanted to. And I've just um, cut this scrap card, I had this left over from something else I was using. These papers aren't in this month's kit, They're just bits I'm using up so I'm going to stick that on there and that will cover the back then. There we go, that looks a bit better. And then to tie it all in, I've actually got this left over from this paper, so I'm going to pop the arrow on there, and let's use the green on the pink. May as well use these up. It's Tuesday, and I'm here to finish off this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I always feel strange after a bank holiday. I feel like today should be Monday. It's a strange feeling. I've had a really nice weekend. I think because I did a lot of work yesterday, or mainly worked yesterday i feel like i didn't really have a weekend but i did actually have some other downtime over the weekend but we went out on a dog walk last night and i just felt like i'd worked all weekend so maybe i need to have the work days on the saturdays in the future and then have rest days afterwards so i start my week like now feeling like i've had some time off but i'm about to start the new weekly vlog i really hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching leave your comments below say hello i really really love chatting with you in the comments it's so much fun love getting to know you thank you so much have a wonderful week i hope you and your families are all well and i'll see you in the next video take care bye